Okay, um, just real quickly, um, this pond is because it's a glacial kettle pond, and it's it like I told you before, it was like an outcrop of the water table. It actually goes up and down seasonally with the water table. During the summer, when we have a lot of evapotranspiration and, and uh, probably a little bit less rainfall, groundwater levels tend to drop. And during the winter, when the trees have no leaves and all the rain that comes in as, as precipitation can, can recharge the aquifer, you actually have water levels rise. So they go up and down seasonally. And there are also droughts where it really drops, and there are wet years where it really gets high. Okay? So where you're standing right now, just about three or four months ago, was actually underwater. The lake level was higher. Okay. As the groundwater discharges to the aquifer, uh, from the aquifer into the uh, pond, you know, we talked about all those geochemical environments up in the gravel pit. Well, you can imagine that water with zero dissolved oxygen where I had the real high iron. Remember that, where the thing turned orange? Dis discharging into the lake, which of course is a surface water environment and there's dissolved oxygen in the lake because there'd be no fish otherwise. Okay? Turns out that in addition to dissolved iron, there's no good field kit for it, there's a lot of dissolved manganese. It turns out the dissolved iron doesn't get this far south. By the time we get this far south, all the organic carbon has been pretty much used up, or a lot of it has, and you don't have dissolved iron, but you do have dissolved manganese. And as the water discharges into the lake and hits the dissolved oxygen, the manganese precipitates it back out and coats the rocks, black. And so this is actually evidence of the groundwater that was containing manganese discharging into the lake, and when it hits that interface with the high DO pond water, the manganese precipitated out. And you can actually see that if we dig here. See how the black color is only just right at the surface? And in fact, if you take these rocks and break them open, they're only black on the outside. So it's really a coating, a veneer of manganese oxide. So it's kind of neat. Let's go a little further. Everybody call.